And what does the RSPB do here? Well, Saltholm's a really special place. Saltholm's existed um, as an RSPB reserve for the last six years, but previous to that it was actually uh, an industrial space. Um, okay. It got its name because it used to actually mine salt from underneath the ground here. Uh, water was pumped in and pumped back out um, to extract the salt from under, under the ground, which has meant that the ground isn't suitable for the heavy industry that you have around the area, leaving it as a bit of a sanctuary for wildlife here. So. Um, it has had previous incarnations with ICI, uh, had the land as a, as a kind of um, test farm here before we got it and it's, it's, and it's been a, a hot spot for bird watchers for, for a number of years. Um, but yeah, as I say, we've had it for the last six years uh, and we're just developing it as a habitat and a, and a really special place here for, for wildlife. Yeah. And what wildlife do you have here? Well, being the RSPB, it's, uh, it's, we have a lot of birds. <laughs> um, <laughs> We, in the summer months, we have the, the biggest inland colony of uh, common terns uh, that nest here every year. They spend the uh, winter months down in Africa, um, migrate up to us in the summer and, um, and, ne uh, and nest on, on the islands on some of our lakes here. Um, also a really good spot for sand martins in the summer months as well. Um, through the winter, it's a really important site for overwintering birds. So geese and ducks that travel across uh, to Britain from, from Northern Europe, Scandinavia. Um, and the, the wet grassland um, that we have on the reserve is, is a fantastic um, feeding ground for those and a really critical one um, for many species, which is why we have designations, why it's a special protected area, a triple SI site, and it's a Ramsar site as well, well part of the reserve. So it's a very, very special place here. Brilliant. I know you also uh, look at um, giving odd, uh, sorry, the audience like tips and advice on how to do it at home and with the um, bugs and bees. Um, could you tell me a bit more about that please? Absolutely, yes. Um, here at Saltholm we do want people to take some, um, take some ideas and, and, uh, and advice away with them after they've visited us here. So the wildlife garden that we're, we're studying at the moment is a perfect example of that. Uh, we've planted this whole, uh, whole garden with the home garden in mind. So there's different areas with different types of uh, garden in, in there. Um, all planted with wildlife friendly plants and flowers so things that are rich in nectar, things that provide cover and shelter for, for birds to nest and roost in, um, things that provide food so berries and as I said nectar um, and, and good flower, uh, good, good flowers and seeds uh, in the autumn months as well so ideas like this can be really easily adapted for, for in the home. We also do quite a lot with families in the classroom so each weekend we'll, we'll we, we, and through school each weekend and through school holidays we have different activities um, going on in the classroom. Some of those will be getting out and actually exploring nature, but some of those will be taking actions like making bird feeders and things like that that, that people can physically take home and, and implement in their own homes. Brilliant, cool. Does that sound, is that enough? I think so, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Okay, I'll do Brilliant, you. thank you, yes. No, no problem. Thank you.